Okay, now let's look at the mobile experience. So here I am, I'm on an Apple device. You can have the same thing with the uh, Google Play Store, but you're gonna look up this app right here, the Just Call Cloud Phone, and I'm just gonna download that and install that app right now uh, to my device, and we'll go through the setup together. So one of the benefits of having this on your phone is that you're not needing to be locked to your computer. So, um, you know, if you're if you're away from your computer, but you still need to make or receive calls, you can go ahead and uh, use the app. So I'm going to go ahead here. Uh, hopefully, it's going to. I don't know if my last pass is going to pick it up. Not sure if it is, but Click.com. It might not. Oh, passwords. Here we go. Last pass. Just call. All right, so there's mine right there. Log in. Okay, so pretty straightforward. This is the pretty much a replica of the dialer that you see uh, on your computer. So you got your dialer on the bottom. Um, you put in a number. You can look up contacts. Uh, this is linking from your keep integration so you can look up anyone within the system so i can look up myself now when you first integrate it here's the thing to know is it'll sync a hundred contacts um every five minutes so when you first make your infusionsoft slash keep connection you're not going to have the full database it's going to take you know an hour or so to pull in all the contacts that are in there but in most cases you will be making your calls from your keep application clicking the button that's there so you can click on that and you can see that the names and numbers there, you can say send text or call. Uh, so you have those options. Uh, the team, this will show you the other team members if they're online or available. So you can actually call them if you need to. Um, and the phone book would actually look at your, your actual main phone book that's on the system. Under recents, this is looking at, um, you know, calls that you have already made um, within the system. Messages. This would be any uh, incoming or outgoing messages uh, that are in there that you can choose from. So these here are your uh, the inboxes for each of the numbers uh, that are there. So you'll be able to see, or I can see, uh, I think because I'm the account number or the account owner, I can see everyone's account. Under more in here, you can do your availability. Um, and then you can say call using the default just call number. Um, and that is, uh, if you turn that off, it'll just call from... Um, like it'll call from your number, sorry. Um, so you wanna have that turned on. So from the very basics of this, this is pretty straightforward in here. Um, now I see the number in here is my cell phone number. That is not the number it's gonna call from. That is the number you set up to get your two-factor authentication that's in there. So pretty straightforward how you use that, just like using a phone. Um, if you're sending a text message, you can click on the little edit button. Actually, hold on, let's go and look up my number here. And then we can go text. Um, and then you can say, select the option. So uh, which number am I calling or texting from? I'm gonna use Brittany here. So the icons across the bottom, the one that looks like a little bookmark, that is gonna be your saved replies. So you can go in here and say, okay, I wanna do the, the OAC purchase link 20% off coupon. Um, it'll put the text in there and then you can go ahead and either adjust it or click send and send it over. Uh, attachments that are here, this will allow you to upload any media uh, that you have. So you'll choose from your computer or your phone. Uh, and then the clock here is allowing you to schedule the text to go out at a set time uh, in the future. So that is how you use the mobile app. Now let's just stop the sharing here.